Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 7th of 2024 is titled Milky Way Behind Three Merlons. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the Merlons out in the distance there and the three of them off to the slightly to the right of center. And those are various rock formations that are present. Now these occur and in fact a lot of fort rock formations occur because the softer rock is eroded away leaving the harder rock behind. So when erosion occurs it's going to of course take away the weaker rock first it's going to wipe that out first and then over time even the denser rock will get wiped out. So eventually the Merlons would slowly disappear as they are eroded away by the forces of nature here on earth. Now they are hundreds of millions of years old, in fact, estimated to be 250 million years old. And that is uh, comparable, actually, to the time it takes the sun to go around the center of the galaxy. So that's how long it takes. And the last time we were at this point in the galaxy was when these rock formations were forming hundreds of millions of years ago. Now, when we look up in the sky, we see, of course, part of our own Milky Way. The Milky Way is our own galaxy as we see it from within. Now, our galaxy is a spiral galaxy, but we don't really get to see that structure because we're stuck inside it. And if you imagine yourself stuck in a house and just put in a house and not able to leave, say, one room, how do you know what the house is like? How do you know what the structure is? And it's difficult. How do you figure out how many floors it has? Well, if you're stuck in one room, you can't really see through that. You might have some windows that let you see one direction or another and might give you some ideas, but we're really stuck stuck at one location, not even just one room, but one specific spot within that galaxy. So we don't we only get to see it from that perspective. Now we see it as a flattened disk and that's why it's spread out as it is in the sky. So the Milky Way appears that that flat kind of river of milky light that extends through the sky because it is a disk formation. That means our galaxy is flat. So like a pancake. And we see the star clouds there. Most of the starlight is blocked out by the dust. We can see star clouds and dust clouds there. The dust is very good at blocking out light. And in fact, it doesn't take a lot of dust to be able to block out all of the light from the distant part of our galaxy. We're looking off here towards the central regions of our galaxy. And as we do that, this should be incredibly bright. And in fact, if you point a radio telescope here, this is the brightest radio source in the entire sky, giving off more energy than any other radio source. But in visible light, it isn't all that prominent. Now, when you take a nice extended picture like this, you can see some of the details there. But again, we're missing a lot of the light because of that dust. Were it not for that dust, then this would look much, much brighter and would be significantly brighter than it is today. So that was our picture of the day for August 7th of 2024. It was titled Milky Way Behind Three Merlons. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.